My name is Glenn Purvis. Um, I fight under the Jabat Gym. I've had 26 fights, uh, 20 wins, and two knockouts. Um, being picked on at school was uh, a big impact on my life. You know, when I was 11, I was a lot smaller than most kids, you know, so I'd get picked on, you know, being short, my last name, you know, I used to get hit, you know, and I used to go home and, you know, be sad and cry, and, you know, it wasn't always good. But, you know, I like to see anyone try and pick on me these days. Growing up in one of Sydney's harder suburbs, Purvis was witnessed firsthand to how little options there are for young guys his age who have left school early. He grew up knowing he had to make a hard decision whether to follow the crowd or follow his dreams. Uh, growing up in Cranbrook, you know, I could have taken two paths, you know, fighting and, you know, st you know training at the gym, or well, I could be doing what me half my mates and that were doing at school, you know, smoking, drinking. I'd rather fight than do stupid stuff like steal cars and, you know, get in trouble, end up in jail one day. Training Glenn, I mean, he's kind of learnt to be a sponge, you know, at a, such a young age. It's easy to teach someone that's willing to learn, you know, and he's here a lot of the time, he's stuck in the gym and this is what he wants to do. So, you know, he's an easy, um, how do we say it, apprentice. And like any fighter, he can have those days when he comes in a bit tired and a bit flat, you know, and it's up to my job to push him through it. So, you know, we've, we're both, we've got a love-hate relationship, especially in the ring. Um, but, you know, I know where he can be. I know what he can do. I, you know, he's, he's one of my own. I didn't get him from somewhere. He didn't come to so decide to come and train at Jab Out. You know, he's, he's here. He's, he grew up here, <laughs> you know. He helped lay the gym floor. He, you know, cleans up the place. And this is his life. And he'll make it his life. And I'm, I'm pretty confident of that. For months, Purvis was struggling to find an opponent both in Australia and Japan, due to having already fought most of his weight division and the new sanctioning rules requiring all underage amateur fighters to wear protective gear. With Purvis only being 16, this posed a lot of problems for the young star and he was left wondering where his career was going without any fights lined up. That being until he got a call up to fight on one of Australia's biggest fight events in Canberra against another young up and comer. My name is Steve Compton. I'm a head trainer down at EMT Brisbane and EOS Fitness Academy and I'm Elliot Compton's trainer and dad. My name is Elliot Compton, I'm 23 years old, uh, fighting out of the EMT Brisbane. I've had 18 fights with five losses. Training with my dad is awesome, you know, I, uh, I get to spend some quality time with him which you know most people don't get as, as you get older. He's a, he's a great trainer. We have that, 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 that bond that, you know, he knows when I'm struggling, when I'm not, so there's no, there's no cheating with him, that's for sure. Uh, it, there's, there's so much with Elliot as, as a kid. He was always in trouble. Um, he was always rough and tumble. He was always coming home with black eyes and bits and pieces. Um, but, you know, he's one of those you say you can't do. He always goes and does. I've dedicated my whole life to the sport, so I'd like to take it as far as I can, eventually become the best, fight the best names that get, get offered to me. You know, it's, it's what I want to do, so. I feel unstoppable, you know. I feel strong. I, I know that my training has got me to where I, I need to be for this fight. I feel prepared, and uh, I'm, I'm just ready, ready for action. Muay Thai to me um, is my life. You know, um, I've been here since I was young. You know, um, I don't know nothing else really, but um, you know, I'm here every day training, fighting, and it's, I love it. It's, a, it's not just a sport, it's a passion.
if we go back a long way with Glenn, you know, 40, 44 kilos, you know, to what his fight weight is now, you know, 67. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got some history there, you know, and I treat him like one of my own. He's, you know, when he's in pain, you know, I'm feeling it. And uh, when he's not doing what I think he's capable of doing, he knows about it. Training my son, um, as opposed to other fighters, is, uh, is slightly different. But I think um, I have to treat him as a fighter, not as my son. If I treat him as my son, there's so many ways I would let him off. Um, and that's not doing him any favours either, him or me or the team. Um, he needs to be treated the same as everybody else. He trains hard, he misses training, he gets told about it. Um, he always gives 100%. In fact, 110% because he's my son. I feel as though I've got the right to push him that little bit harder. You know, we can't afford anybody ever to say, oh, you got that because. So he's used to me pushing him harder than anybody else. And I always have done it, and I always would. I've never insisted he comes to the gym. He's always asked for it. He's always come on his own accord. But when he's there, I push him 100%. At times in the ring, it would be easy, I think, as his, as his father, to get really emotionally attached to him with that father-son relationship. And the fear of him getting injured um, would always be there. And I think that would overtake what we need to be um, as a team. So I really need to detach myself, and he does as well, I think. By the time we get in the ring, he's a different, he's the, tra he's the fighter, I'm the trainer. We do our thing and um, we become father and son as soon as the final bell goes. Compton trains in a number of traditional Thai practices, focusing his energies in the lead up to his fight against a kid from Sydney. I don't know too much about Glenn Purvis. I know that he's got some good skills, he's got a big heart. I've had a few people say I am the underdog. You know, it's the best feeling in the world knowing that you're going into a fight and you've done everything you possibly can. My fear isn't my opponent. It's my fear is letting down my team, trainer, and all the people that come and support me. It's going to be a great fight. I know he's got some tricks for me, but I've got some, some cool tricks for him as well. Yeah, I do get scared before fights. But to have that hand raised is just, it's, it's an awesome feeling. I know I've got Jason and all the boys believing in me. I mean, I've dedicated my life to this. I'm not going to walk away from it now. I want to beat him and beat him pretty good. Both boys travel to Canberra, Australia's capital, and home to one of the country's biggest Muay Thai shows, where they meet face to face. This fight has one fighter stepping back in the ring after a few and far between fights in the past 18 months and the other who is seeking to secure a confident win over the 16-year-old kid who has been known to have a heart of an ox.
Elliot Compton in the white. Glenn Purvis in the green and long, straight and hard. They've started at a million miles an hour. Big liver shot and comes with the overhand. Purvis now eats the knee to the midsection. But now they're starting to throw down as Purvis opens up. I look at that for a quick head kick from Ali Compton. What an entertaining battle this one is. Beautiful body kick caught by Purvis. Oh, he's walked into a bomb of a right hand again. Elliot Compton, too good here at Capital Punishment 5.